Now, happening today, let's get to uh, coverage of the Kansas City Marathon. Thousands of runners now all over the streets in the city for that marathon. Lisa Benson joins us live from the route. I think you're at the finishing line, right? Right in the middle of all of this. Hey, Lisa. <laughs> Yeah, definitely a lot going on and a lot of money to be made. This is said to be the largest Kansas City Marathon yet. Take a look, folks are still crossing the finish line. A lot of 5Kers and half marathoners are now crossing the finish line. Again, great weather and a lot of excitement out here. I'm joined now live with Tom Butch. He's with Waddell Reed. Talk to you about the economic impact. Definitely a lot of money to be made by the city of Kansas City because of this event. Yeah, we commissioned a study, uh, the Kansas City Sports Commission did that is this year the economic impact was adjudged to be eight and a half million dollars a year from from the marathon and all the related activity that takes place with people coming into town and I know a lot of the participants were asked to wear blue today of course to honor our Royals I have my blue on as well talk to me about showcasing the city this is a great opportunity for folks to get a chance to take a look at it really a private tour of Kansas City it really is and in any year that is true but this year it's a, certainly a celebratory time and we encouraged everybody to wear blue and just have a wave of blue run through the city we have what is adjudged to be by the running community one of the most uh, uh, beautiful and um, showcasing environments for a marathon in any urban area in the, in the United States. And I think that's why we've grown so much. It's a great, as you said, a great tour through a wonderful urban core. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. And again, um, a great turnout. This is the largest marathon to date. But of course, that means a lot of road closures until about one o'clock this afternoon. But of course, these runners and sponsors believe it is well worth it. Reporting live, Lisa Benson, 41 Action News.